Welcome to demo we will learn about how we can find sum of digits of a particular number input by the user for this purpose so let's start dev c++ click on file menu option here we will zoom in click on file option select here new and uh, click on project option here we will click on console application because we are designing or developing a console application select here c++ project type here the name of the project we are typing here the name of project as sum of digits click on ok save this project default line of codes are written here we will have just to remove the line of comment code we are writing here using namespace std why we are writing here using namespace std because we will use the standard namespace for using standard input and standard output objects such as c in and c out so first of all we are going to explore the philosophy how we can find some of digits of a particular number each and every number of specific domain or uh, number system is a composition of digits let's suppose we will say about decimal number system we can say that it is a composition of 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 these digits are included in decimal number system and this number 5 6 4 3 or maybe any other number is belonging from this number system that is called decimal number system okay now observe this num provided number that is 5643 is uh, also consist of the digits that belong from the decimal number system. Now if we want to get the sum of digits belongs to this number from particular number system we have to calculate this as 4, 5 plus 6 plus 4 plus 3. Now the problem is that how we can find say 3, 4, 6 and 5 from this particular number. For this purpose we will grow through an algorithm. Algorithm says that first of all we will have to take the remainder of this provided number from its base. The formula is that modulus will be used. The base of this number system is 10 why this is 10 because it contains 10 digits okay the remainder will be the last digits from this number means the result of this formula or equation will be equivalent to 3 after this we will reduce the given number by its base or radix 5 6 4 3 divided by 10 for reducing the number we will use division for getting last digit or remainder we will use modulus it will return the result of this equation will be 5 6 and 4 means we have first of all drop the last digit from the number and reduce the number for next operation and next time when in iteration or loop we again take the modulus of the remaining number then it will return as 4 then the last number will be 5 6 6 the next iteration will return the 6 and 5 etc these two lines are uh, only uh, need to require to implement in entire logic so let's start by creating the logic of the program or implementation of the program for this purpose first of all i am declaring the required number of variables for the implementation or calculation num int r this is will be used used for storing remainder okay next i am declaring a temp variable why this variable is declaring or declaration of this variable is necessary or unnecessary we will talk about this later on first of all we are going to take input just simply enter number a message will be displayed on the screen and see in statement for taking input okay 
this line of code will take input in num and store it in num variable after this according to the philosophy or logic we will have we have already discussed we will have to implement the while loop we say that while num is greater than 0 or not equal to 0 we can also write or not equal to 0 here we will write down the first line that is the line used for calculating or getting the remainder of the number we say that r is equal to num modulus 10 this will return the remainder we have also required another variable that is named as num sum is equal to 0 this will contain the total of remainders or the digits because remainder is the last digit dropped from the number here we will say that sum is equal to sum plus r r is the last digit drop from the number we have already said that the number sum is equal to zero why we initialize this variable rather than the other variables are not initialized because we know that the addition identity or sum identity is zero okay after this the second line is required to be implement to reduce the number by its radix or base num is equal to num divided by 10 okay these are the entire line of codes that are required to implement here what is the use of temp variable temp variable is used to store an additional copy of the num variable so that after reducing the num variable it will tends to the zero after completion of the entire completion of while loop the num variable will tends to the zero so that we take a copy additional storage for retaining the value original value of the num so that we use this temp variable declared here and save the additional copy of the num variable in temp okay here later on after completion the while loop we will have a sum of digits in sum variable we can simply say that see out sum of uh, digits sum or sum of digits sum whose digits sum temp because temp contains the uh, copy of uh, input variable num sum digits temp is equal to here we will display the sum or we can also use the manipulator handle save this file uh, sum of digits okay uh, now we are going to run this program we can also see either there is any kind of error or warning we are just uh, entering the number one two three after entering the number one two three we can see that sorry the input number is one two three and the digits in one two three are one two and three so that the sum of one plus two plus three is equal to six here is the sum of digits that we have already discussed so the entire logic behind the program is uh, in these two lines or these two line of codes or these two line formulas why you want to apply any kind of operations relevant to the digits of a number either it is count of digits either it is sum of digits either it is even digit each and every operation concerning with the digits of a number involves these two lines of codes First of all, we will have to get the digit from the number and then we will have to reduce the number to get the second loss, third loss, fourth loss and until it, this number tends or goes to the zero. This is the entire logic of the sum of digits of program. Thanks for watching. Keep subscribed for the latest update and programs. Thank you.